Hi, I'm Trisha J. Woldridge, and I am a novel friend. A novel friend is the business that I started some time ago to encompass my editing, my writing, being an author, and everything I love about words, because words are a bridge between people for communications, a way to build relationships, and as corny as it sounds, to make the world a better place. Today's poem is Photographic Salvation, and this is the response poem to the seed art that Michael Zeiss sent to me, which is this really cool kind of warped picture of a church. A better picture is in the links below with the 2017 Blackstone Valley Artists Association uh, Poet Artist Swap, so go check that below and check out the rest of Michael Zeiss's work. It's amazing. In any case, this one just really struck me because me because it's this like warped church, and Michael explained to me that the um, way that it looks like film is because he had the wrong size film in the camera, but he wanted to capture this picture of the church, and that gives this kind of like cool flamed bendy, and so that just struck a, pitch, a chord in me because that's a story, and I write about dark horror, and I have my own issues with organized religion and faith. So that just all came together in the story that I'm going to share with you in Photographic Salvation. Photographic Salvation She kneels before a photo, a fragment of film, an artifact. Corners frayed, curled, buckled, color worn, lines blurred. The holes where ancient reels made magic movement reveal orange flame flickers of time. The picture a brick building, stained glass, wide doors, a silver cross above the windows, beside the doors, bigger than people. She kneels and prays. Outside is dark, curfew. Inside is safe, hidden. The photo lives beneath the false bottom of a disguised hollow in a desk made by a grandfather more greats ago than she can count. The photo is illegal. They say it represents oppression. They say people killed for its secrets. They say it destroyed the world, separating people by fire and sword. They say it needed to be eradicated, dismantled, every brick toppled, each and all its books erased, its remains burnt, ashes scattered to the oceans and the winds. She could be killed, burned, and scattered for having this photo. They failed their mission. The rhythm murmured words they sought to silence still creep from hushed mouths. Beads and cards and scraps of paper live inside drawers, under mattresses, and between breaths. Silent gestures meet subtle nods, contraband blessings. Yes, there was death, and yes, there still is, and yes, death still happens in the same shadows as prayers and psalms, sometimes correlation, sometimes causation. The quantifiable dead bodies haven't changed. She breaks the law to pray before an outlawed image, because it also represented freedom, secrets that were truth, creation from ash and metal and clay. It made a covenant it would never be destroyed. And in this safe promised new world, where even a photo of it is forbidden, there is oppression, there are deadly secrets, there is destruction with fire and sword. So every night she takes her licit picture from its hidden home. She risks her life to kneel and pray before a photo of salvation. That was Photographic Salvation. I really enjoyed writing that poem, and that's one of my favorite ones to perform, and if you didn't guess that already. I hope you enjoyed it as well. If you did, feel free to leave something in the comments, share with your friends, maybe subscribe, and I look forward to sharing even more poetry and stories with you in the future at A Novel Friend. Thank you.